Hello everyone, I'm Amruta. I'm an occupational therapist with One Special Place. Today, I'll be speaking about online occupational therapy. It is a part of teletherapy services provided at One Special Place. Telerehabilitation is a trend that has gathered strength during this pandemic period. It is easy to access and has a benefit to attend from the comfort of your home. And it is time and energy saving mode of intervention. The clients who can benefit from online OT are those who require help with activities of daily living, postural corrections, handwriting concerns, visual coordination, uh, autism spectrum uh, disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and such. These clients are selected after a thorough assessment. To make the therapy efficient, it helps to have a caregiver attend with the client. This mainly holds true for pediatric or geriatric age group. After the assessment is done, a smart goal plan is developed for a stipulated time frame and the progress is measured at the end of this period. The client receives a list of essential items to be used for the session that is shared by the therapist. The therapist guides the client and the parent through the session while selecting activities related to these items. These are mostly things that would be easily available in the house. These include and are not limited to a pair of tweezers, deck of cards, stacking rings, cars and soft toys, cushions, mats, balls, buckets, cloth pins, magnets, books, pencils and crayons, pair of scissors and so on. The caregiver is also trained to handle behaviors, execute home therapy plan for the non-therapy days. The therapist demonstrates the movement patterns to be practiced or skills to be mastered. After observing the client's performance, corrections and tips are suggested. The prerequisite for tele-OT sessions are as follows. Firstly, online occupational therapy sessions happen via a teleconferencing app, which needs to be installed by both the therapist and the client. Secondly, a good internet speed is recommended for the therapist and the client for smooth delivery of these sessions. It helps to bookmark a speed testing website and check internet speed 15 minutes before the session. Thirdly, for effective teletherapy, a non-distractive environment or a place in the house is recommended. This place should be well lit and well ventilated. A chair and table for the client and some free space around this is recommended to enable performance of both tabletop or gross motor activities. I hope I was able to share what exactly an online OT session would look like. If you have any further queries, please feel free to get in touch with us at www.onespecialplace.com. Thank you and have a good day.